the television. Do we need it? Is the television still king? A lot has changed in the last decade, particularly in the way we consume content. Younger audiences are watching 13% less linear TV year over year, turning to digital platforms for entertainment. Our attention span is narrowing, with the average dropping from 12 seconds to 8 in just 10 years. That's less than a goldfish. Online content consumption around the world has soared since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, doubling on average from three and a half hours to a whopping seven hours a day. But how have these changes in the way we consume content altered the fashion industry? In 2013 paper, New Fashion Times, Professor of Research Dr. Agnes Rockamora stated, Fashion time does not unfold in a smooth, linear way, but is made of various moments that point to its disjointing. Dr. Rockamora looks at the ways new digital media has supported the speeding up of fashion, and how with the proliferation of online platforms and social media, modernity has entered a new phase. Photo and video sharing platforms like Instagram and TikTok have become the main place for consumers to, well, consume. An endless digital conveyor belt of guts, glory, and girth. This is not the television, where after 2 a.m. it's just teleshopping and reruns. This money-making machine keeps turning, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, every second of every minute of every day. A relentless sharing and selling of material and symbolic goods. Moods and ideas, realities and desires, sex, death, pain, lust, and love. With the next trend starting before the last can finish, we are shitting while we eat. It is in this process of acceleration and accessibility that the entities of fashion have not tried to adapt, but have been forced to. Forced to bow to the 916 neon god we have made. Perhaps an interesting example could be Gucci's Fall Winter 2020 campaign, The Ritual, where creative director Alessandro Michele abandoned his role of director and, quote, surrendered to the idea that beauty can appear, wonderfully imperfect, through the absence of control. The film was captured and directed by the models themselves, shot on their iPhones in the comfort of their own homes. While the contents of this motion picture are sumptuously rich, dripping in Gucci's signature penchant for opulence. The real reason it resonates is because it is an apt reflection of our current time. These intimate, hyper-real images speak to note of the global village in which we all now reside. In the famous words of Canadian philosopher Marshall McLuhan, the medium is the message. McLuhan saw the digital revolution coming decades before anybody else. He held the belief that the medium through which a message is experienced fundamentally shapes the user's perception and the very meaning of that message. Changing our physical environments, altering our consciousness, with these mediums acting as extensions of the self. The camera, an extension of the eyes. The photograph, an extension of our memory. But the internet? The iPhone? An extension of what? Our minds? Our souls? Does this medium surpass and go beyond the physical boundaries of our own existence? Do our souls stay hanging, lingering forever imprinted in the ether of our own intranets? <laughs> Perhaps not. So, I mean, with all this in mind, where does it situate the new media genre, a fashion film? So neatly put by Nick Reese Roberts, fashion film is now more than simply a form of motion editorial for the fashion industry. It is more broadly a product of the age of post-cinema entertainment in which filmmaking practices have been radically reconfigured after the internet to ensure the transmedia convergence of film, fashion, and consumption. And with that, I would state, fashion film is now more relevant to the modern consumer than ever before surrounds us so the future the future is open-ended we live in uncertain times exciting times 
times of redefinement and experimentations. We, as both the creatives and the consumers, have the chance to promote our own destiny during this brand new chapter. And we have a responsibility to drive change, build a sustainable future, and improve the way we live. We can be the lords of our own church. <sighs> the strangest life we have ever known. So, the television. Do we need it? If the medium is the message, and it doesn't matter what we say on TV, why are we all here tonight? And why am I asking this question? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say it didn't matter what you asked on TV. I said that the effect of TV, the message of TV, is quite independent of the program. That is, there is a huge technology involved in TV which surrounds you, physically. And the effect of that huge service environment on you, personally, is vast. The effect of the program is incidental. The effect of the program is incidental. The effect of the program is incidental. 